Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be uh, doing a little follow-up and some modification on my uh, Spyderco Yo Jimbo 2. Um, I've had this thing for uh, a couple months now and uh, as you can see it's loosened up a lot since uh, from when I first got it. Um, and it's awesome. It's a super comfortable knife. Um, I haven't used it a lot for utility. I don't really want to ruin this blade. Um, I've opened a few packages here and there, but uh, in the meantime, I have gotten that Giltec Ruck, which uh, has definitely helped me out in uh, saving these blades. So I can keep these nice and uh, you know take them out, show them off. Essentially, that's kind of what these are uh, about. Uh, and then obviously, this particular one is like I mentioned in the last video. It's a self-defense knife, but. Hopefully we're never in that situation. Uh, anyway, it's a great knife. Uh, again, ergonomics on it are pretty awesome. Uh, the scales, I'm not a huge fan of the scales. They're G10, I want to say. Um, I'm just not a big fan of the feel of them. I know a lot of people like G10 scales. Um, I don't know, they just feel cheap. I don't know. I don't, not a, not a big fan. I'm more of a fan of, uh, I guess, carbon or... Uh, metal scales or something like that uh, I guess it's just personal preference um, I did lose a screw here after I took it apart I don't know if you can see that there yet so I had taken it apart I had uh, lubed it all up and set the uh, the uh, pivot so that I can flick this thing open and drop shut and everything like that it, it's exactly how I would want it um, but one of these loosened up at some point and fell out. So, uh, today I'm going to be installing a set of titanium bronze coated, uh, screws. So I got this set off of uh, a guy on eBay. I think it's screw for you is the name he goes for not eBay Etsy. So you can see the, uh, the screws here and there's well it's all of them you got the pivot screws you got the pocket clip screws let's see here some pivot screws are right here and then uh, these are the uh, clip screws and then these are for the scales so uh, that guy goes over there so I'll be able to uh, swap all that out I had him do it in this uh, bronze now unlike the Benchmade which was a titanium screw that was um, powder uh, anodized these are powder coated at least they look powder coated uh, I got a matching clip now he makes this clip in a couple different variations um, mainly with a spider logo on here I had him uh, make a custom without the spider logo I was more of a fan of it just kind of plain um, but this is kind of where everything started because I think I mentioned in the last video I was not a fan of how far this pocket clip was down here you can see this this is where the top of your pocket would be and this sticks out here so taking this and moving it up here not only would move you can see where it moves it up but it moves your pocket almost to the edge of the knife which is really how I like to carry mine now I haven't tried this one with a deep carry pocket clip yet so I'm not sure um, I'll actually like it I'm hoping I'll like it Every knife I have with the deep carry pocket clip, I do like and prefer. Um, I have a ZT that I actually got a clip off of another ZT uh, just to make it more deep carry and it changed exactly everything how uh, I wanted it to be on that knife. Um, so I guess going forward with this, we're just gonna pull it apart and uh, take these screws out, put the new screws in, and that's about it. But I just want to give a little update on, I have been carrying it, I do love it. Um, pretty much the past couple months, I've been carrying that and the Benchmade. So that's uh, that's been the two knives you can see in comparison. They're, they're fairly similar in length. Um, so this is my preferred size of knife, you know, like a full handle. That's probably about a three and a half inch blade or so on both of these. Um, these are pretty much always in my pocket, one of these. Um, this one more often than not, just because it's a little slimmer and profile wise, you can see it's a little shorter. So for everyday carry, this is a little, uh, a little easier. 
in the pocket. This is takes up a little more real estate, but uh, this has uh, this is definitely cooler as far as uh, how it looks. It's it's pretty wild. You take this out and show it to people, they're like, "What is that thing?" You know. So anyway, uh, I guess let's get to it and uh, start modifying. So solid okay so now at this point it's really just like working the pivot and setting it how you want and uh, hoping it's all good yeah I like that I like it a lot good action all right that's what we got right there you can see all the bronze hardware is in Time to put the uh, pocket clip back on. And uh, one neat thing with this particular model is it has four way reversible pocket clip settings. So you can see the three holes here and here, here and here. So you can do uh, left or right carry, tip up or tip down. You know, if it's in your pocket like this, it's considered tip up. If you mount it like this, it's tip down. Uh, as we can see here, I have my oh actually I had that backwards left and right it faces outward um, I do tip up and away so this will be the same way we're gonna do tip up and away so we're gonna mount it on this side to mirror that which is how I have if I have an option this is how I carry most of my knife so when I pull when I pull this out of my pocket it's already in my hand like so all right so again we're going to tip up and on this side so we've got one thing we're doing here is going from three screws to two screws so this will sit right in here and that's going to put that right over that other screw so that's why you want to make sure you have everything set where you want it before you put this uh, pocket clip on because once this is on here you cannot access that screw And there we have it. All the new hardware is installed. I think it looks really good, the black and the bronze. I mean, I, I do like all blacked out. Um, I don't mind the all blacked out, um, but since I was changing it, I thought I'd add a little, little color to it. I think it looks really good. Action, still really good. I think once it got wore in, um, once you have it set again, it's, uh, it's pretty good. The only thing I don't like about this, so again, in hand feels great. Uh, the opening, I mean, it's, it's super easy. You can obviously open it with your thumb. Um, you can open in middle finger spidey flick is how I generally deploy this the thing. I don't like about this really is the back lock. So it has this little like compression lock back here that you you pull down and uh, when you pull that down and this closes 
it can pinch your finger so it's going to be hard to see but there's a there's a gap there um, and what happens is when you deploy it you can see it it pops open and it holds the blade there but when you close it and this swings down it stays in that same spot so when you're closing it like so your finger fat can get between there and there and it'll pinch it it does it less with my uh, my pinky finger but it does it a lot more with my thumb um, I think it was my thumb was it my thumb I don't remember um, how was I closing it I was closing it and it kept pinching my finger um, and I didn't really like that also when it when it does close uh, it's gonna be hard to see here as well so this bar is the back of the blade it's like this piece right here the way they have it machined when you have your finger in here it's actually you can see I can push my finger out with it so as it's swinging down it's hitting your finger um, something I do not like so not a huge fan of this lock um, I like it for the fidget factor uh, you know it, it is fun to play with but I don't like that it swings down and it hits your finger and it can pinch the fat I, I'm trying to think how I was closing it before um, oh when I was opening it sorry if you open it with your thumb like so it pinches my finger fat right in here um, this will this will close because you, you have your finger wrapped around there so if you slowly deploy this it will pinch your finger um, and not a huge fan of that um, again fidgety awesome looking knife crazy shape uh, blade and handle and stuff uh, super ergonomic I think I just made it better with this uh, clip, but I guess time will tell. Hopefully it's it's pretty stiff. That's the one thing I can say is it's pretty stiff on there. Um, so this might need some adjusting to uh, make it better. But uh, I guess for now, that's it. That's all I got is uh, this is my Spyderco Yojimbo 2, now modified with uh, screws for you, uh, clip and bronze hardware and a little review after uh, carrying it for you know I guess a month or two and uh, that's it so for now like comment share subscribe and we'll see you guys next time thanks <laughs>